Yo, what's up guys? In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a blended profile picture for completely free. So if you want your blended profile to be looking like this good, then just follow the tutorial. Well, let's get straight into the video. Okay, click the first link in the description and it's gonna bring you to this website. Now, this is the blender download, so you just wanna download that and like follow all the steps and stuff. Okay, now you wanna open it up. And now you wanna go to the second link in the description and it's gonna bring you to the Gorilla IK rig in GitHub. So this is the actual gorilla and this is where you're gonna be like making all your like poses and profile pictures and stuff. But just click latest and then just click this button to download it. Okay, once you download it, go back to Blender and then click open. And now just find the iCarry rig. Because for me, I usually like to keep my stuff in Blender GTAC stuff so I can like organize it. But an easier way actually to open it up is to just double click on it and it'll automatically bring you to the website. This is my latest creation from this video, um, but I'm just gonna delete everything real quick for the tutorial. Okay, this is what it's gonna bring you. You can like make this sh like shorter if you don't wanna animate, but if you wanna animate, then just make this taller. But this is a profile tutorial, so we don't really need to animate, so I'm just gonna put that down. And by the way, if your girl is looking like this, you just go to the top right and then click this button, and now it should be normal. And now here's your gorilla. To change your color, cause I'm sure like not all of you are like Professor Weiss or VMT. You gotta click on the actual monkey, not like these black lights, but the actual monkey. Go down here to material and then scroll up to primary color. And you can try to get your exact color code. But if you want the exact color code, then go to the third link in the description. Put your color code here. So I'm just gonna put Jammer's color code for now. But as you can see, I'll put in the color code, but it's black. To fix that, just go to this V icon and then you can delete the four or whatever number it is and change it to 100. And then now it should be the exact color code. And now just copy this. Okay, now you wanna go back to Blender, go back to primary color, and instead of HSV, go to hex, and then just delete this, and then just paste the thing you copied. So, and then you click enter. And now it should have the exact color code. So now you wanna change your name. So just click on the name and click tab on your keyboard, and it'll just delete everything. And then make your name in uppercase, cause that's like the real gorilla type thing. Well, you can do it lowercase if you want, but it just look kinda weird. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna put poop in curly, because I can and why not. And then once you're done typing it, just click tab again, and then now you're here. If the name tag is too small, just how to fix it. So go to the left of the screen, and this little arrow, just drag it out, and now you have all this stuff. And then this gray box right here, not the arrow thingy, but the box, just hold in there, and just like drag it bigger. That seems about good. And then you can go to the move tab, and then you can like move it, whatever you want. I think that looks about good. But to make the actual name tag bright, just go to the name tag, and then go to material, and then go to the strength down here. And then just change that up and then like change the brightness. And also you can change the color of the brightness, but that shit looks kind of weird. I'm saying like about like 2 900 is good. So now you're done with the name tag. Okay, now we want to get like a pose to the monkey. So to actually pose it, you have to click on this black box. And then go up here where it says object mode, click on that and change the pose mode. And now you're in the pose mode. Green proof in the future here, so I forgot to mention this. So when you're like posing the arms and they both move, then just go to the top right and click this X. And now you can move it indi individually. And now you can click on like the hands or something like that and you can like move it. You can like rotate it. Um, I don't recommend scaling it because it just looks like that. So let me just make a quick pose real quick. So you did all of this. But I know half of you are not bald monkeys, so I'm gonna teach you how to get cosmetics. Okay, now you wanna go to the fourth link in the description, and it's gonna bring you to Sketchfab. From Sketchfab, go to Search 3D Models, and then just search up Gorilla Tag. And now you have a lot of Gorilla Tag cosmetics. So just scroll until you find a cosmetic you like. So I want that tree hat from this bundle. So you just wanna click on it, but then you wanna scroll down and click Download 3D Model. But before you can download anything, you gotta sign up. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, I just logged in, so now I wanna click Download 3D Model. And you can download FBX or JLTF. It might work for you guys, but for some reason, FBX like doesn't work for me half of the time, but it does work for a lot of other people. But a lot of times I just download JLTF because for me, it's like better and it's like more easier. So you, so you just wanna click download of whatever file you wanna download. Okay, now you wanna click on the file and then you wanna extract it. And then extract all and then extract. And now it's like this, but it is a little different for an FBX file. So for an FBX file, you wanna extract it. And then you wanna go source. And now if there's another file in source, just double click it. And then just move this in source. So now it should have like the file and the normal thing. And then once you open the normal thing, it should just be like this. So once you download it, you wanna go to file, import, FBX or GLTF, depending which one you downloaded. Because personally I downloaded GLTF. 
and then you want to locate the file. Okay, now you want to double click it and then just open it up. And now it should be right here. Okay, you want to move it away for now and just select the cosmetic you want. So I wanted the tree hat, so I'm just going to move the tree hat over here. Okay, now make sure you're in object mode and now you just want to adjust to like where it fits right. Okay, that seems about right. But as you can see, it looks a little blurry. So you just want to click on it, go to the top, go to shading, and just move your mouse until you find this orange base color and then change this from linear to closest. It is a little different for FBX files. So when you get an FBX file, a lot of times the texture doesn't go in automatically. So here's how to get the texture. Okay, so you want to join my Discord in the fifth link in the description and then you want to scroll down until you see Blender stuff and then just click custom textures and then here's a lot of the textures. All the textures will be automatically in the file, so just look for that. Okay, once you see a texture that has your cosmetic in it, just right click it and save image. And then you want to click on the cosmetic, go back to shading. You want to click open and then you want to find the picture you just downloaded. Then you want to click it and click open image. And then if it looks weird, then you got the wrong image. So that's how you get a texture. Okay, when you think it looks good, then go to the top and click the fourth spear, and it's gonna look like this. Oh wait, I forgot one important step. So you wanna make sure you're in object mode, and then you wanna click add, light, and then sun. And then you wanna like drag the sun like over there somewhere. And then you wanna go to the data, and then you wanna change the strength of the sun until it looks good. I would say like maybe like a there, it looks good. Okay, now you wanna make sure your shadow's enabled, and click this arrow, and click contact shadow. And that's gonna look very good. Okay, green boy from like a week later, as you see at the bottom. Um, I forgot to mention this, but if you want custom faces, then I'm about to show you how. So basically, in my Discord where you got the, the textures, go to custom faces, and then you got a whole folder with faces, and you have all these faces. And then if you go to even more Blender faces, then you got all these faces made from Sona. So let's just download the zip file real quick because there's more files in there. Do you want to open it up? And then you can like click on these and you just want to find the face you want like this is just like the normal face but just find the face you want so i want this face so to download it right click it and then click save as now go back to blender click on the rig for the shading so make sure you buy like this green box and just drag your image in here like ta-da let me just do it like this so now you got your image but it's not showing up yet so you want to drag the yellow dot that's called color and you just want to drag it to face texture and as you can see it, it's still like this but to fix that just go to the face texture change for here and just drag it all the way up and now here and for it not to be blurry just go from linear to closest and now you have your own face congrats yay so now when you think you're all done you want to click f12 but if it says no camera found then you have to add a camera to add a camera, you want to go to add, and then add camera. Okay, now you want to click this camera button, but if the camera button is not there for you, then just click numpad zero. And now you're going to be in the camera view, but as you can see, you can't move your camera if I'm moving the camera. I, I don't think that made any sense. Fix it, you want to go back in the camera, and then go to view, and navigation, and then walk navigation, and you can use ASWD and the mouse to move the camera. And then you want to adjust it to like where it looks good. I say about like there it looks good. But if you wanted a square, then go to Revolution X up here and change this to 1080. Well, don't listen to anything I just said because that is just going to make it look really blurry. So just change it to as it was. And then you want to go to Output. And if this says Video, then just change it to PNG because we're not making a video right now. We're making a profile picture. And make sure that's on RGB. And then, yeah, we're basically all done here. Okay, now when you think it looks good, click F12. And now it's gonna bring you to this page. So once you're in this page and you like it, just go to image and then save as. And then you can name it whatever. I'm just gonna name it Jayman Poopy is Star, because why not? And then save as image. And then now you're done with the blender. So you can just close this out. And now we gotta go to photo P. Okay, now you wanna go to the sixth link in the description, I think it is, and it's gonna bring in the photo P. And if you don't know what photo P is, it's basically like a free Photoshop. If you wanna get better at Photoshop, just follow these tutorials, because these tutorials actually help me a lot. And then just scroll up, click downloads, and then click the image thingy, and then now it's gonna bring up your image. So to move your camera left and right, you wanna click control, and then, and then the mouse thingy, I don't know what it's called. Oh, the school wheel, yeah, it's called the school wheel. To zoom out, you just gotta click R and then go and then do the zoom wheel thingy. And then to go vertical up and down, just and then to go vertical up and down, you just wanna click shift and then the scroll wheel. But you got the power all running right now. How do you remove the background? You can go to the seven link in the description, remove BG, but that's just gonna ruin the quality. But I do highly recommend this website to like remove.
remove any image because it's actually really good. But right now we're not going to use it. So to actually remove the background but still get in a good quality, you want to click on the image, go to filter, no I'm sorry, you want to go select and then remove BG and then it's going to like not do that good but you just want to click it again and just wait a couple seconds and then boom. It might remove the name tag a little but just like not really a fix for that so um yeah sorry. Maybe just like you could just go like move the name tag probably. Okay now you want to go to edit and then free transform so you can do like this and you can like make the monkey bigger and rotate it and all that stuff. So I think like about like that looks good but it's looking a little dead and bland. So go to image and then adjustments and then you have all these adjustments you change. So you can go to brightness and contrast, you can change that up, maybe like about there. You can go to like vibrance, which yeah, that looks good. You can just mess with all these adjustments. Okay, now you want a background. You could switch up like a gorilla type background, but um, if you don't want a gorilla type background, then just switch up any background. So I just switch up a wavy background and I think this image looks good. So you want to right click it and click copy image. And you want to go back to photo p and click Control v on the keyboard and then now you have your background so you want to move this behind the monkey and then you want to go back to free transform and then you can just adjust this to like fit like the whole screen so i'm just going to do this and then boom and if you want to change the color of it just go to hue saturation and then you can literally change the color by changing the hue so i'm just going to change the hue to like that because that looks about good you can change the vibrance which i'm yeah that looks actually really good and boom, guess what? You are now done with your PNG. Come on, give a clap to yourself for all that hard work. Come on, just do it. <laughs> yeah, so once you're done, just go to File, Export, and then PNG. Okay, um, feature green board here. You actually don't want to make it a square, and you just want to keep it on 1920 by 1080, because um, if you put it anything else, then it will look blurry in the, in the final product. So everything I do in the photo P thing, just like, don't make it a square, yeah. And then you want to click save okay now that you're done you can just click change and then select the image and then click done and then you can resize it and then click done and boom and then click publish and then boom now you have created your blender profile picture okay if this tutorial helped you please leave a thumb okay if this tutorial helped you please leave a sub down below because i'm not the best at blender i'm actually pretty new to blender but i'm just giving you guys all my like tips and tricks of blender and how to create a pretty decent profile picture well thanks for watching um i'm close to monetization so i hope this video can give me monetization probably not but peace